Getting taller has been the dream of most people on the planet. There are numerous reasons why people want to grow taller. Some to boost their self-esteem, some to get the girls, and many other reasons. A lot of factors contribute to the overall height of someone. However, it is said that genetic factors contribute to about 60 to 80 percent of your overall height. However, factors like environmental factors, nutrition, and exercises contribute to the remaining 20 to 40 percentage. Between the age of 1 and puberty, people gain about 2 inches in height each year. Once you get to puberty, you might grow at a rate of 4 inches per year, although people grow at a different pace. The rate of growth of individuals varies. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing what you must do if you want to grow taller. A lot of factors determine the rate of growth in an individual. Most people think once they get to puberty, they automatically grow to their desired height. However, it is not so. To attain the height you want, you need to do regular workouts and eat good food. You stop growing at puberty. This means as an adult, it is less likely for your height to increase. Although it is not entirely impossible as you can add half an inch or an inch in total. This might be due to a regular workout which loosens the discs in the spine, lubricates them well, and automatically adds up to your total height. Another way you can increase your height is by good posture. When it comes to posture, a lot is at stake. When you have bad posture or you are stuck in the cycle of work-related posture, not only will it drop your productivity, but it can also reduce your quality of life. Studies have revealed that poor posture can also be attributed to low esteem. The good thing about practicing good posture is that you can achieve an inch or two in height once you practice good posture. If you want to increase your height, there are certain things that you can do to maximize your growth potentials. You should continue this even as an adult as it will help promote your overall well-being and helps you retain your height. Share on Pinterest Gaining height is essential as it helps build one's confidence and the processes also boost the overall health conditions of the body. Increasing your height without your hormones on your side sometimes does not come easy. For you to increase your height, there are certain things that you need to do. As you follow this video through the end, these things will be well explained to you. According to Rodion Salimgerev, MD, environment and lifestyle factors come into play during childhood and adolescence. Nutrition, for example, plays a significant role in determining height. Scientists have theorized that improved nutrition may be the main reason why the average human has significantly increased over the last century. This is why it is important to feed children well until they are fully grown. To attain the maximum height you can get, there are things you need to do. These things include appropriate feeding. Studies have shown that feeding is a significant way to increase height. Yes, you have to feed for you to grow. However, when you talk about feeding, balanced diet is what we are discussing. Also, if you want to grow, you must take breakfast very seriously. Breakfast takes the bulk of food credit. Eating a balanced diet breakfast is bound to boost your metabolism rate. A healthy breakfast is very crucial to maintaining proper growth and development in the body. If you are the type that wants to gain height and you are skipping breakfast, it's going to be a bit hard for you to gain height as skipping breakfast is bad for your overall health. To boost your growth rate, a proper breakfast is needed as it influences your body growth substantially. As it influences your body growth substantially. Apart from breakfast, you should find ways to integrate food like vegetables whole grains, protein, and dairy products into your daily nutrition. Limiting or avoiding food like sugar and saturated fat is very much essential. Healthy food promotes healthy bones in the body. Also, you should increase your calcium intake for healthy bones. You should take food rich in vitamin D to up your bone growth. Food known to be high in vitamin D includes tuna, fortified milk, and eggs. To maximize your growth potentials, you need to stay away from growth stunting factors. Sadly, this is a hard thing to do for most teenagers as they want to enjoy their freedom to the fullest at this age. They tend to consume alcohol and drugs which are significant factors in stunting one's growth. To maximize your growth potentials, you need to avoid drug addictions right from a young age. Proper nutrition is essential for maximum growth. Malnutrition translates into short height. 
Excess caffeine and smoking disrupt the growth hormones in your body, which ultimately causes stunted growth. So it would be best if you stayed away from smoking and drugs during puberty. To ensure proper growth, you should stay away from all these bad habits. Another thing you should remember in order not to suffer from stunted growth, some people are so desperate to gain height that they go about swallowing all the supplement pills they can find. In most cases, the manufacturers of these supplements make them in such a way and also give you a long list of benefits for these pills. In the end, you find out it's a waste of your time as most of these pills don't work. Instead, they hinder the active hormones in your body from doing their job. Although some supplements work well in the body, supplements are not appropriate for growth in young children. However, in some cases, exceptions are made. For example, let's take a case of someone with conditions that affect his or her growth hormones or HGH production. The doctor may recommend a supplement containing synthetic HG. The doctor may recommend a supplement containing synthetic HGH for you. Also, vitamin D or calcium is excellent for bone health, which increases height over time. It would help if you avoided supplements. A very much underrated factor that contributes immensely to your growth is good sleep. Once you get good sleep, growing will be a regular thing for you. Adequate sleep helps in the overall growth and development of the body. It is believed that growth occurs majorly at night. During sleep, your body grows without you knowing. Getting adequate sleep of about 9 hours is best for adolescents, as they need to get all the rest they need for maximum growth during this period. Nighttime is considered to be the best growing time for kids and adolescents. To get enough sleep, you should create a serene and noise-free environment that maximizes deep sleep which is believed to be great for health. In return, good sleep helps you grow efficiently and effectively. When you sleep, the body produces a hormone referred to as the growth hormone in the pituitary gland. This hormone helps with proper growth and development of the body. The growth hormone is essential to the body. To facilitate the production of this hormone, you have to sleep well. Another significant way to get as much height as possible is by staying active. And by staying active, I don't mean ditching sleep or doing unnecessary activities. Staying active means you should exercise your body and have a stipulated time for yourself when you want to exercise. The best time to exercise the body is early in the morning before breakfast or in the evening before you sleep. Although research shows that exercising in the morning is best for your health. Exercise without a stipulated time will only cause fatigue in your body and you won't gain any essential thing from it. Apart from increasing height, regular exercise has many benefits to the health. It helps strengthen the muscles and bones. It also enables you to maintain a healthy weight and promote HGH production in the body. To grow, it is advisable to exercise at least once a day, preferably in the morning. And when exercising, your focus should be on flexibility exercises like yoga and aerobic activities. Exercise helps reduce the risk of osteoporosis which occurs when the bone becomes weak. To minimize this risk, you should exercise. If you want to increase your height, regular exercise is required throughout your puberty years. The immune system is an excellent asset to the body when built well. Most people think the only function of the immune system is to prevent diseases from entering the body. Yes, but have you ever stopped to ask yourself the question, what happens when illnesses are not prevented from entering the body? You fall sick and have stunted growth. That is precisely what happens when the body is not protected from diseases. So in a way, the immune system is responsible for adequate development in a person. To ensure good height, it's essential to keep the immune system fit and running. Regular illness causes stunted growth. You can enhance your immune system by taking vitamin C, which is abundant in citrus fruits like oranges, grapes, and lemon. If you are trying to enhance your weight, as we discussed, you should focus on what you take in as it is very much crucial to your overall health. Studies have shown that practicing good posture can help you add about an inch or two. However, poor posture might make you look shorter. Slumping and slouching can result in a minimal hunch formed at your back, which will reduce your height. For you to maximize your height, it is best to practice good posture. Bad posture can cause curves in your body. Then your body tries to adjust to the curves, which causes neck pain, 
back pain and the likes. Being conscious of how you stand, sit, work and sleep is key to your growth. If you feel your posture is not good enough or you're not happy about your posture, there are different posture exercises to help you correct bad posture. You can develop your exercise routine or get a professional athlete and physiotherapist to help you create great workouts for your health and help correct the bad posture. As we have discussed before, meals are essential in good growth. Scientists have proven that eating little food every three hours is quite remarkable for your health. This feeding style known as the three-hour feeding rule, it helps boost your health and growth. When practicing the three-hour feeding rule, it is advisable not to take any meal between these hours. So you should map out your time if you intend to practice this kind of feeding. Once you practice this rule, it is advisable to round off your feeding at 6 o'clock in the evening for maximum benefits. What this rule does is that it helps keep your body's metabolism running, which is essential to growth and weight management. For this to be effective, you should eat in small quantities every time you eat, because overeating will only end up making you fat, and you will fail at the whole point of the three-hour rule. Height is a great thing, and it helps people build their confidence. Attaining height comes naturally for some people. As discussed earlier, scientists have proven that your height is tied to your gene pool in most cases. 60 to 80 percent of your overall height is linked to your gene. However, you can work on the remaining 20 percent yourself by knowing and doing the right things, including feeding well, exercising, sleeping, and the likes. The only window available for you to work with your height and gain maximum benefits is when you are at the adolescent stage. At this stage, the body produces twice more growth hormones than before, doubling your opportunity at gaining more height. With this, we have arrived at the end of our video. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. Click that bell icon to get the notification for our upcoming videos. Don't forget, eat good food and exercise those muscles. Thanks for watching.